Preacher here. Join me for God's word on my heart. Preacher here. With everything that's going on in the world right now, a lot of people, they, they feel like they're, they're Job. They feel like they're getting one set of bad news after another. And before it can even sink in, they're getting another. And sometimes in life, we'll go through things like this. But you know what we need to remember is that God is there with us through it all, all along. And the Bible gives us certain places that we can go to for assurance, for comfort, for a reminder of just who God is. I want to share a couple of those passages that helped me out. First one's Isaiah 41, 10. It says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. Stop and think about that for a second. God says he will strengthen you and he will help you, which is a reminder of, hey, child, you're going to have to go through some things. But I'm going to give you the strength you need to do it, and I'm going to help you do it. You're not alone. Which reminds me, well, let me finish the verse. It says, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Now, what it reminds me when I think of, hey, I'm going to strengthen you, and I'm going to help you. It reminds me of uh, the Hebrews at the Red Sea. God could have just transported them on the other side. God could have spoke, and they could have appeared 500 miles away. But with Egypt and Pharaoh closing in on them, they still had to go through the Red Sea. They had to cross that sea. Many of us are going through Red Seas of our own. But what we need to stop and realize and take a look is God's parting the waters for us. We're making it through it with His help and we need to give Him that glory. Another spot I want to share is out of Psalm 91. He, verse 1, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Are we dwelling in the shelter of the Most High? Are we spending our every day in praise and worship? Are we thinking about God continuously? Are we seeking in Him for every direction in our life? Are we turning to Him? Are we upholding our end of the conversation with God? Are we having a relationship with Him? Does He know what's going on in our lives because we told Him? Or do we sit there and shut up and just stay quiet and not say a word because we assume He knows? Well, you know, the Bible says that we have not because we ask not. Sure, God knows what we want. But God wants us to come to Him and have that relationship with Him. Daily. It says, deny yourself daily and pick up your cross. Are you ready to deny yourself? Are you holding up your part in God's shelter? It says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Let me tell you what a shadow can do. I mean, look, it was it Peter? His shadow cast upon somebody and healed them. Now imagine what the shadow of the Almighty could do. It says, I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilences. He will cover you with pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a buckler and a shield. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrows that fly by day, nor pestilences that stalk darkness, nor destruction that waste at noon day. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place. 
the most high who is my refuge think about that are you dwelling in the Lord are you following his ways daily are you seeking him daily if you do a lot comes from that I want to share another psalm I want to share Psalm 23 Psalm 23 Verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. What does it mean to be a shepherd? Think about this. What does it mean by I shall not want? It means that he's taking care of your every need. A shepherd takes care of the sheep because sheep are too dumb to take care of themselves. If they fall in a hole, they'll lay there upside down till they die. But a good shepherd will come and pick that sheep up, turn it back over, dust it off, and send it on its way with the other sheep. It takes care of its every need. It don't need to want nothing because with God as your shepherd, you have everything you need. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He makes you rest. He leads me beside still waters. He gives you peace. He restores my soul. He helps you understand things when you shouldn't be able to make it through it. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you walking through dark places in your life, it says I will fear no evil. For you, that's God, it's with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. You're going to have to face your enemies from time to time. But God will bring you through it. It says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You know... We can all dwell in the house of the Lord because John 3 16 says for God so loved God loves you so much that he gave his only begotten son God loves you so much that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him as anybody should not perish but have everlasting life for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved you see if we believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and rose again in three days now anybody can believe but to truly have faith you're gonna live it if we accept what Christ did we'll have eternal life John 3.36 says, If you believe in the Son, that's Jesus Christ, you shall have everlasting life. But if you believe not, then God's wrath remains upon you. You see, what is God's wrath? Well, the wages of sin is death. And when you don't accept what Christ did, you're going to die that eternal death. You're going to go to hell. It's not God's will that you go. you got a choice to make. Do you accept that you can't do it on your own? And that... Christ is the only way to heaven. If you do, you're going to go to heaven. If you don't, that's your choice. Anyway, start a relationship with Christ Jesus. Makes an eternity a difference. Be blessed.